Welcome. This video will provide you with information regarding the differences between atomizers and cartomizers, as well as the proper technique used to fill both. Let's begin with the atomizer. Atomizers have a relatively long life, yet require frequent refilling. Atomizers can be refilled by dripping liquid into a cartridge, or by dripping liquid directly onto the heating element inside of the atomizer. To fill an atomizer using the direct drip method, you can drip directly into the center of the atomizer. Liquid can also be dripped directly into a drip tip. Using either method, about three to five drops is all that should be used to keep the atomizer saturated. After the desired number of drops have been added, screw the atomizer onto the battery housing. Cartomizers have a relatively short life, but require less frequent refilling. Cartomizers are refilled by dripping liquid onto the filler material inside of the cartomizer. To fill a cartomizer, remove the white rubber cap and tilt the cartomizer slightly on its side. Begin dripping liquid onto the filler material. If the liquid begins to pool at the surface, Wait a second for the liquid to be absorbed, and then continue adding drops. When the liquid pools and is no longer absorbed, the cartomizer is full. Put the rubber cap back in place, and screw the cartomizer onto the battery housing. Both atomizers and cartomizers can be purchased in various resistances. Resistance is measured in ohms. Atomizers and cartomizers with a resistance above 2 ohms typically work well at medium to high voltages. Atomizers and cartomizers 2 ohms and below, or low resistance, typically work well at lower voltages and produce a higher volume of vapor that is much warmer. We recommend using high resistance atomizers and cartomizers on the ProVape. On the smaller ProVape 1, we recommend using low resistance atomizers and cartomizers 